If you're not a graphic designer, but you wanna have beautiful slides, you're going to absolutely love this tutorial because it's all about having nice slides without the skills. This video is going to be all about slide design. And I'm actually going to show you how to create beautiful slides. I'm going to be using Keynote and another program called Canva. I'm going to show you how to make really, really beautiful slides that you can brand the way you want. So this is really great for small business owners if you want to have everything branded and everything consistent from the moment your peeps get to your website, then to your opt-in, then to your webinar or presentation or video, everything is going to look the same. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So I just wanted to show you quickly why, first of all, why I'm going outside of Keynote to design the slides. So when you come into Keynote and you open or you, you start to open your presentation to create a new one, you do have some options of some themes. And you can make changes to these. So you can make changes in Keynote. However, there are a lot of limitations. So I'm going to show you how to do it a way that I just think is easier. So you can see we have all of these options. Now, some of these options are fine, but they're really limited because one, you only have an option to use the stock photos that they have presented to you. Unless you want to go and, you know, buy your own and import them, then you can do that too. But you don't have a lot of options with stock photos. Also, you're going to have to make a lot of adjustments to the font and to um, the colors to really make it look like your own. And even when you do that, it's still probably going to look just a little blah. Like there's not a whole lot of um, things that you can do unless unless you're bringing in a lot of your own elements. But I find that it's just a lot easier and you have less limitations if you go into this program called Canva. So when you go into Canva, this is a completely free program. Um, you can upgrade. They do have an upgrade for Pro. I haven't found a need to upgrade yet and I make a lot of different designs. So I think it's fine if you use the free. So I'm going to go, uh, you see here, it says create a design and then it has all different size options. So it suggests sizes for whatever project you're doing, right? So if you're doing a blog graphic versus if you're doing uh, a presentation. So I'm gonna select presentation, but real quick, if you don't see this in your you know, popular designs, um, then you can always hit the more button and scroll down to documents and then you'll see it here. I am selecting the one that is for 1024 pixels by 768. That's the one that I'm gonna be working in today. So you'll notice that once you pop on in here, you're going to have some options here for what you can use right off the bat to create your, say, cover slide or whatever you want to make to create your presentation. So they have a bunch of options here. And what I really like about Canva is, one, there are a lot of really pretty options right off the bat that you can use. Most of them, or should I should say, a lot of them are free. Some of them you do have to pay for. Um, but see, like all these that I'm clicking on or that I'm hovering over are free. Some of them, though, you will have to pay. So I'm going to scroll down to find one that I like uh, that's going to work with what I'm doing. I am want uh, So I am designing something actually for a course that I'm creating, and I'm wanting it to be kind of plain, um, I found it the other day and now I'm not finding it, but I will make it from scratch if if I don't find it. And that's cool too, because then you can see how that's done. If you liked something like this, so say if you were doing something for a bakery or cooking or whatever, you can you know select those cookies and then it's real easy. You can change the fonts and colors and stuff so that it matches your brand. I'll just do it from scratch. So I'm going to jump into the background. And there are a bunch of different backgrounds here with different patterns and all that but I'm just going to like I said I just want this simple so I'm going to select my color now I already have all of my colors laid out and usually what I do is I just grab it from Evernote and I cut and paste into here into Canva um, whatever you do have your brand board ready to go when you jump in here just like you would any other time you're designing something that way your time in Canva is quick and easy and you're on to doing other things. 
So I just wanted to set my background color. Again, I already have these colors picked. I wouldn't mess around in Canva trying to find the colors. I mean, you could, um, but it's just, that's a whole nother project, finding your colors. So, all right, once I have my background done, then I kind of want a frame around here. So I'm going to go into elements and into shapes. And now I'm able to grab a frame. So notice this is going to be black and um, I don't have this black of a black in my color scheme. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to do white because that's something that I do have in my color scheme. So I'm going to just change the size of this frame. Notice it's real easy to do. And then I'm just, there we go. See how it's, see those purple dotted lines? That means that it's centered. So you can move it around, but once you find the lines, then it's centered. And lines pop up when you're aligning it with other elements on the screen too. So it's really cool. All right. So there you go. That's, I mean, we can use that as a slide, but I mean, we could have done that in Keynote too. I like a little bit of a layered look. So I'm going to scroll down here. I think I want something up in the corner because I want to put, just draw a little bit, you know, make it a little interesting. Um, but also I just kind of want, yeah, I want it to be interesting and I want it to be a place where I can put some information up there. So I think I'm going to use this triangle. All right. So obviously as soon as it pops up, it's not in your colors. So I'm going to, the black around the outside, I'm going to make white and then this gray has got to go. So I'm going to add another one of my colors. Notice though, as I'm typing this in, that my blue that I used before is there. So as soon as I input a color into the design, it's going to be there ready for me, right? So I can use it whenever I want. I don't have to always input the colors. All right, so I'm going to put this up in the corner. So I want it a little bit smaller. Let's see if this is a good size. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. Now, one thing that I don't like about Canva is it, it doesn't do shadows well. So to make a shadow, what I'm going to do is copy that. I'm going to move it to the back. And I'm going to change this to my gray. Um, and I'm going to do this one gray too. See, my gray is already there, so I don't have to input it twice. All right, and that, yep, and that slides behind it. So I'm going to take this up here, put that in the corner. And then I'm going to, I just copy this so it's going to fit nice in there. Maybe I'll make it a little bigger. A little bigger. Oops, didn't know I wanted to use the front. Make this one a little bigger so it reaches. And it'll slide right in. There, now I have my shadow. Okay. So I have that going on, but I changed my mind. I don't want this white border on it. I'm just going to make this pink too. See how easy it is to change? You don't have to deal with like grabbing a paintbrush and trying to get in little lines. Just click, done. Okay, so I like that up there. I'm going to add some text to that. But first, I'm going to add another element down on the other corner. So this course is going to be all about speaking, obviously. So I'm going to use a mic. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to copy it. And I am going to change the color to pink. And then I'm going to change this color to my gray. And then I'm going to put this down here in the corner. And I'm going to do this one there too. Now I have a little shadow look. So now this could be good enough for your slide. For like, right, the title could go there and the body and Kino will take care of all that. Um, or you could, you could keep going if you want it to be, like if you're doing a cover slide, for example, maybe, maybe you add some more, right? So for right now though, let's just take this. And we're just going to download this. Actually, let's change this. I did one before that I didn't like, so I'm going to replace it. So image, high quality. Hold type, preparing your design. All right, so that's ready. So I'm going to come in here and, you know, I can select any of these. I, I'm just going to select the white one. Make it easy, plain and simple. So now I'm going to pick this one because this is going to be just the standard slide that I use and that's what I want this to kind of work with. So ta -da, it's just in there. 
perfect. All right, so that's cool, but the problem with what I just did is that now every time you go to add a slide, you don't have that, it didn't, it didn't do anything. So what you need to do is go over to this edit master slide. All right, so now here's the cool part. Let's make this bigger so you can see. All right, so now this is my slide. All right, so now it's all set and I clicked over here and I got the title and the body. So I can say what I want in here, right? And I can now change these to also match. So I'm going to select Tahoma as my font. I'm gonna change this to the color that I want for my text. So I'm gonna use that gray again. Same with this, I'm gonna select the color again. Make them all that way. All right, so now my font is ready to go. My title text is ready to go. And I've done this in the master slides, right? So that's cool. So if I hit done, okay, so that's my slide ready to go. Now, if I go to add a slide, you can see that that's all set up, right? So now every time I add a slide, I can pick that if I wanna pick that. And I can create other designs that suit my needs. Like I can create a cover one, I can create a plain one, whatever you want. So I'm gonna do one more thing here. I'm gonna add some text. I want this to be week one and I want this to again be my gray and I could have done this in Canva too but since I want to I'm going to show you something else I'm going to do here um, I wanted this to be edited be able to be edited here um, so see it's just easier to work in Canva get things like this okay so now that's in there all right so that's my week one do I have my yeah. okay so we're ready to go so now everything is ready to go so whenever I type in here it's it, this is going to stay so I edited my master slide already cool all right all right so now you know how to make beautiful slides to suit your brand whenever you are creating a presentation either for a live on stage or for the internet. So I hope that you learned something here. I hope you're able to share your message with the world and you're able to have an easier time creating those presentations. I'm going to continue to work here on Canva and work on the project that I have going on, but I hope that you're able to put this to use for your own project. If you wanna get more tips and tricks and just learn how to be a more confident and capable speaker, then I encourage you to either subscribe to this channel or head on over to sandydonovan.me. There you will find lots of information, blogs, videos, you name it, about how you can just become a better speaker. So, all right, it was nice talking to you guys, and I will see you soon. Bye.